So another way to write the same number is by 64 into 10 by 2. And a lot of time we cannot think of uh, that uh, for the calculation. So in that case, it is very easy. Half of 64 is 32. So the answer is 32 and a 0. So it's 320. Uh, again, if I have to multiply uh, 78 by 5, so the answer will be equal to half of 78, which is 39 and then a 0. So that's 390. Again, if I have 128 and I want to multiply by 5, that will be equal to 64 and a 0. And that's your answer. Um, another trick is uh, to multiply by 25. So if I have to multiply 60, uh, 64 by 25, then uh, we can write this as 64 into 10 by 2 into 10 by 2 so we have to take half of 64 two times so in that case half of 64 is 32 half of 32 is 16 the answer is 1600 0. again if i have uh, 128 i want to multiply by 25 in that case it will be equal to uh, half of 128 is 64 and half of uh, 64 is 32 it's 32 0 0 um, again uh, let's go to one more trick uh, if we have to multiply by 125 so how do I multiply by 125 so I'll take uh, uh, example uh, so 128 I want to multiply by 125 then that can be written as 128 into 10 by 2 into 10 by 2 into 10 by 2 so we have to do we have to divide 28 by 2 three times or we can divide it by 8 so if we divide uh, 122 128 by 2 that is uh, 64 and half of 64 is uh, 32 and half 32 is 16 so the answer will be equal to 1600 0, 0, and one more zero so this trick may not be very convenient a lot of times because uh, sub uh, dividing something by 8 is not uh, very easy sometimes uh, but uh, it could be handy at certain times uh, now uh, let's do another thing uh, if we have to multiply 120 by 15 so how will i do that in that case uh, what i'll do is uh, i'll take half of 20 half of 20 is 60 and then i'll add that into 120 so this is this is uh, equal to 120 by 2 okay so here that will be equal to 180 then i put one more zero and then so that's my answer so again if i have uh, 100 and uh, 180 want to multiply by 15 that will be equal to uh, half of 80 is 90 plus uh, 180 so 18 and 9 that's equal to 27 two zeros in the end so that's our answer um, so I hope this trick helped and I'll see you in the next trick.